So I'm having a little coffee break. Just made this one. Oh, the lines have gone in it. It went really pretty. It all fell into it. Um, but I put way too much water in it. You're supposed to put boiling, like two teaspoons of boiling water. And the kettle was so filled up that it just poured in. And then, um, now it's super, super frothy. It'll be good though. Still taping up. It's taking flipping forever. It's all the, like, the little intricate bits. So there's bits that are going down to the ceiling. So I'm having to get on the ladder downstairs to get up to the ceiling that then turns into the upstairs bit. It's never ending. I've honestly been doing it for about an hour to two hours, probably about two hours now I've been taping up with the frog tape. It is good, it's it's sticking, but when I try and do the, try and do around here along the carpet, it doesn't stick, so I'm gonna have to use the masking tape on that bit anyway. It's mainly just to protect the carpet, it's probably not gonna do a good job and I'm gonna have to go around with a little paintbrush anyway. But I'm hoping to get this done today. It's two, quarter to three now. Um, and it's still the middle of summer, so we also have the sunlight until about Eight, nine o'clock, and where we live, we get the sun till like really, really late. Yeah, once it's all taped up, it shouldn't really take that long because I don't have to be careful then. Beforehand, I was being really, really careful because I hadn't taped. Well, I've taped a little bit up, but not enough to allow me to be really erratic. <laughs> but now it's it's all taped, I can just get on with it and finish it off. And then this evening, I think I just want to watch a film and sit in front of the TV. Let's get takeaway or something, wouldn't it? I wonder what our first film should be. This is why it's taking so long. I'm having to individually wrap all of the spindles. I'm having to go around all of the posts that go around the wall. And then we've got these two posts here and they go down into the ceiling here. And then it goes underneath the stairs. So it's really tricky. I'm having to run around in circles to try and get to all the little bits. And like getting behind these bits are really difficult, but uh, like everything is taped to perfection. It should, um, it should be fine when it actually comes to me painting it properly. That's had one coat and everything will need two. So I'll probably, I'll do the edges of this where I missed when I hadn't taped it and then work my way up and then it takes four hours to dry. Um, I might leave it about three maybe, see how it goes and then I'll do the next coat. Cause obviously I don't want to be here tomorrow doing it. I haven't really got, I haven't got the time anymore. I think I did mention earlier that I am going back, oh, it's very dark coffee, but I'm going back to work on Tuesday. So yeah, I did. I'll come back to work on Tuesday, so I've really only got today. Tomorrow I'm seeing some family for a barbecue, so I'm not going to have the opportunities that I do now to get things done. So yeah, this is top of the list to get this done. It is time, the paint is coming back out. I'm going to put my hair up a little bit because it's going to get in the way. I did wash it this morning, which is why it's down, but um, it's just going to it's just gonna get in the way, so I'm going to have to do something with it to get it out of my face. <laughs> it's going to be covered in black paint by the end of the day. Also, this was a particularly good coffee that I made. What are you saying? Sam, what are you saying? close and then I realized I forgot to take this bit <laughs> also I really wanted to get this done today like the two coats one yep yeah, that's gonna be finished oh, I'm getting more paint already I've not even taped it yet um <laughs> it's supposed to be four hours until it's dry enough to do another coat but I mean this one that I've just done I can already see that some of it's dried so I think it does dry quicker than it says it does However, I don't know if I actually want to do another coat tonight in the dark. <laughs> I'll see. Uh, I'll see what the light is like. Late light is like later, and then I will. Uh, I'll make a decision. About the other day. This is the very last bit, and then I'm like, oh yeah, can't see this bit. Can't see it. I'm done. I actually really like it. It obviously needs another coat because close up it looks like this. So it's a bit uh, limey. 
for want of a better word. But I've tried to make the top bits really thick. Well, not really thick, but thicker than just kind of getting it on quickly to get a coat dried. I don't think it's gone too badly, actually. Well, I don't really know. I haven't taken the tape off. I can't take the tape off until... I can see a little bit of mist. I can't take the tape off until I've done the second coat, which is why I kind of wanted to do it fairly quickly. You really need to take the tape off as you're going, otherwise the paint gets too thick and then it doesn't the tape doesn't come off very nicely. Okay, <laughs> what a shot that is. I am gonna take the spray paint outside. I've shake shaked this off. It just sounds like that, and normally you get the that noise. But it is a different paint. This is literally just black spray paint. And then this one has got this texture. So I'm assuming it's just it's different and it doesn't do that. Um, I'm just going to prime it first, but it's only going to be in a dry vase. So I also don't have a primer, so I'm not going to do that. I don't know what time it is now, actually. It's 10 past 6. Sam's cooking dinner. We're having a stir fry. I'm going to have to just do another coat tomorrow morning before we go out in the afternoon but it looks it looks pretty good if you didn't look up close then you wouldn't really know it needed another coat but it obviously does i'll do it in the morning because i don't really want to attract all my neighbors to me talking about this rustolian paint that looks so cool i'm actually shocked it just gives it texture so whereas before it was just like a shiny it's still got that color in the background but it's got this texture on the top of it it's so cool Our shed is arriving. It's going in this corner over here where the bins are. And we've bought a 4x4 wooden shed. So it should go right up to the grass line. And then we should have a gap on the other side, which I've kind of worked out will kind of store the bins. And they'll be hidden down the side of the shed, hopefully. We haven't gone for a massive shed because we haven't got much stuff. We're only really going to have a lawnmower, maybe some garden furniture and like, these little bits down here. We went for the smaller one and one that was long enough to hide both of the bins. I think that's crossed it'll actually work. Like, yeah, there it is. The shed isn't coming through the door, so I'm having to somehow dismantle it because I think it's all roped together and bring it in one by one. So I'll go and help them in a minute. I just wanted to kind of update the situation. But it's half past nine and it's just been delivered. So the aim is to get it built today. Back to work tomorrow. You okay? It's deciding what. I need to break it out of this little delivery page. I'm gonna come help in a minute. Yeah. I'm back at work tomorrow, so I've not actually got much time to do anything. I've still got a couple of vlogs to edit to try and get them uploaded, so that there's like, so that we've got like a backlog of some stuff happening. <laughs> Nick more out of awkward situations. <laughs> So we're back. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never built a shed, obviously, so don't mind doing neither to Sam. But it can't be that hard, right? It can't be that difficult. Yeah, this is my last day before work. I'm having another makeup every day because my skin is just like erupting because I'm stressed about going back. It's all going to be a little bit different, as I'm sure it is for everybody going back to work. But it's still a bit nerve wracking. Stay at home, keep safe, and now I'm actually going back to work. I'm like, I just want to stay at home and stay safe. I'm sure it'll be fine. And especially after the first couple of days back, it will be fine, won't it? It takes me ages to edit videos at the moment because I'm not used to it. I'm not used to like having a routine. But then maybe once I get back to work, I'll have more of a routine and I'll be able to pick up vlogging again. But I do think it's gonna have to go on the back burner for a little while. There probably won't be anything, any new updates from me, unless there's something significant happening then I'll film a little bit and maybe I'll do like a monthly vlog. I don't know. I'd still like to document what we're doing. That's the whole point of me doing these. I want to be able to look back and see all of our progress as we're going along. But I don't know how to do that with a full-time job. So I will, I will try and figure it out. Anyway, how nice is our sofa look? Oh, I'm so excited by it. I have got these two pillows from Ikea that look really nice and we've got this blue blanket that we use because I get cobbled all the time but it just looks really really nice I haven't decided what to go on the windowsill yet I would like some sort of greenery probably fake greenery I don't know maybe a plant I'm not sure but that vase of bunny tails is probably going to live upstairs eventually oh I need to take a heavy bit tablet it's already started do we get to keep the palette too? No, we get to get rid of the palette yeah but we could do something with that yeah, it's very yellowy it very orangey color, yeah I thought it was going to be more this colour yeah, might be the actual fence colour. Gonna paint it grey anyway. Might be a trip to B and Q later. 
Our fave place in the world. Um, we had this game so early, to be fair. Yeah, I know, right? Gives us lots of time to play around with it. It's nearly 10. Yeah, exactly. Right, so to update, we went to B&Q to get some wood paint because it said it needed to be treated. But I think it already did have a treatment, but the underside didn't. So the bit that was going to be on the ground needed to be treated. So we bought some uh, like wood treatment oil and then went... Oh, I just ran back into the house from the garden I've been painting. We treated some of the wood that needed it. Then it needed a few hours to dry and then... The rest of the wood we're now painting the grey because while the oil is drying we might as well be painting the shed the colour that we want it. I just thought that'd be easier. And then when we're putting it all together it'll be already be painted. That's my uh, train of thought here. So we are currently painting with the grey. I bought like a, I think it's wild mushroom or forest mushroom or something. But it's a really nice um, beigey grey. It's really lovely. So I'll film a little bit of that. Uh, it's obviously going to take a little while but it does look really nice. So that's the colour it's going, it's a really really nice colour, it only needs two coats and the paint's going on really nicely, it's very thin, but you can still see all of the wood grain through as well, which I really like, that's where we are at the moment. How are we doing this one? Three, three and a half hours. Got a coat on all of the grey, other than this panel and the door. We've got the oil on the base and the roof. And then I want to paint the inside so it's grey as well. I have no idea what the last thing I filmed was. We've just gone to, just getting my boil, I'm sorry. Um, we've just gone to Aldi so I can get some lunches for work. Take two, my camera ran out of memory. We did one coat of grey and we need to do one more coat of grey. It needs two coats on the outside and then on the inside. It just seems a bit pointless doing it all grey and then having the inside still as that weird orangey fence colour that it came as. It came a lot darker than most fences, I think anyway. It was much more dark and orange than the regular fence. Oh, yeah. Just the colour it already was, what was? Already was the um, the finish that they put on it. It's very orangey, wasn't it? The rest of it has been preserved, and then that all needs to be painted grey tomorrow. And Sam had to do that when I'm back at work by himself. And then I think in the evenings we're just going to have to try and put it together. I have looked better. I should just hide behind my hair. Um, so we're down with the shed for now. Sam still needs to do some coats on it tomorrow before we can actually put it together. But more or less, more or less done. The current situation. Well, someone else is building a shed. Um, but there's, all of these bits are all done. The base obviously needs a coat on the other side. And then the door needs double, double little coats. And then those two little bits there are the roof. So we might paint the inside of that as well. And then the top has that roof felt on it anyway, so. It looks a bit, um, it looks a little bit purpley, but it is grey. Mushroom, forest mushroom grey. It's nice. Just glad to have somewhere to finally put some stuff. Oh, what paint on my arm. I'm trying to find a decent place to vlog where I don't look like an absolute... I don't know. I just look freaking awful. Anyway, we'll go with this because I feel like it's not as close to my face as if I try and do the sound sets. I'm wearing like a really old Harry Potter t-shirt to paint in because I don't really care if it gets ruined. Well, I had to wear my crop most of the day because it was just so hot outside and that's kind of like green splattered now, which sucks, but oh well. Um, the shed is almost done. We managed to get both coats done on the grey and we've done all of the preserve stuff as well. We just need to, or well, Sam, because I'm going back to work tomorrow morning, Sam needs to paint the door twice and the inside of the roof and the base grey, not the underneath or the top of the roof because the roof will have um, like a black roofing felt over the top of it to protect it from any water damage. Oh, and it comes with these little like diamondy things to finish off the frame. So there's two of those that need to be painted as well, which I won't be doing. And then hopefully tomorrow evening, if it's all been painted and it's ready to go, then we can actually put the thing together. Although I am working the rest of the week. It's Monday today, which is why I thought I'd add this into last week's vlog because 
probably won't be vlogging the rest of the week. I might do little like snippets here and there and then make it into like a monthly thing. I don't know, I've got no idea how it's going to work yet. I'd like to carry on documenting the progress, which is the whole reason I wanted to do this vlog in the first place. I want to be able to look back and see what we did in week one, see what we did in week two, and what went wrong there, and how it looked before this thing happened. For me to kind of look back and, and see our progress and see how we get on and... Obviously it's nice if anybody else watches it and enjoys it as well. Realistically I probably won't be able to do it as much as I have been. It was just, it's a shame because I have enjoyed doing this. I'm not a full time blogger, I'm not a YouTuber, so this is my little like bit on the side that I do for fun. Yeah, so if we do end up hitting the shed together then I will obviously vlog a little bit of it. And if we have anything else happening, I will vlog that as well. I really hope we can get the shed done tomorrow because I just want to put stuff in it. I want it done. It's going to look so nice, I'm so happy with it. The colour does look a little bit purple. It's, it is grey, but it's got like a purpley tinge to it, which I'm not mad about, but I'm not mad about it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't hate it, but it's not my favourite thing in the world. I didn't obviously want purple. There was a really nice colour called, it was just called lavender actually, it was really nice, but it's not it's not what I wanted. Um, eventually I would like flowers trailing along the side of it, some jasmine or some wisteria. I would really like... Maybe like a plant pot and then it will grow up the side of the fence. I think that, the fence, the uh, the shed, I think that will look really nice. Especially if it has got a little um, purple tone, because Wisteria has obviously got that purple shade. Yes, but that's something for later on. Nearly nine o'clock, we've been doing this literally all day. I'm knackered, so I think it's probably an early night. We're watching the making of Frozen 2 at the moment on Disney+, Plus, and it's so good. It's so interesting. The amount of work that goes into these films and the people that work on it are just incredible. Ugh, so cool. So yeah, I think we'll watch the last two episodes of that, eat dinner, and then I'm just gonna crash. Hopefully I'll be on here again, we'll see. If not, no, I will be on here.